This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me, as always, halfway across the world, is Jared Morgan. Well, hello, everyone. How are you going? <laughs> <laughs> we, we weren't planning on recording today. It's my only day off, and I had things to do. But then... Mm. But then we got announcements. <laughs> yeah, all the announcements. So, yeah. Well, not here. all the hello. announcements, just a major announcement. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so... so um, we, we thought we'd we should get on. <laughs> we, we've been wondering... Uh, when this would come, um, hoping it would come soon. We had heard rumors mm. uh, from certain sources. And um, lo and behold, here we go. Uh, it would appear that Zen has said bye bye to Arcade 1 Up and hello to At Games Legends Pinball 4K. Yeah. Which is like, I don't know. I think uh, we'll go into the, the nuts and bolts of it later on, I think, Chris. But I think Oh, yeah, obviously... yeah. This is this is going to be really rare for us. We're going to try and keep this brief. <laughs> I, we... I don't hold out help. I think we can still <laughs> well, extract cause, a cause here's the thing, folks. This. We have not spoken to anybody at Zen. We no. are not on the press release chain from at games. At games. No. So anything that we've seen has come from either Twitter or me pausing and still framing uh, a YouTube video to get more information. So we don't have a lot. Um, it'd be pure speculation, or not? You know, it, it's not speculation. What would you call it, Jared? If we're uh, parsing the info that we can have available to us. It's a hot take. Hot take. There we go. Hot take. It's a hot take. Hot take in this news. Yeah. Which is, you know, we're okay doing those, I think. Right. Um, mm. So here, let me uh, let me real quick give the actual particulars. Um, mm. This is, so, Ant Games had announced that they were coming out with a 4K cabinet. So this would be the second generation of the Legends Pinball cabinet. Um, That's right. Iteration being, 2. Yeah, version 2, which we've been saying we were waiting for a version 2 because we think improvements would be along the way. Um, and we covered those and what improvements we thought they needed to do in previous shows as well. So go and check those out. Yeah, and uh, sure enough, some of those improvements that I noticed right off the bat, um, they, well, first off, they got, they actually put in a DMD. So, yeah, that's right. So where we, uh, way back when, when we were first reacting to uh, At Games Machine and they had their At Games logo uh, on the right back box. Right where the box, DMD should be. Where the DMD should be. Now there's an actual DMD there. So hooray! <laughs> yeah, um, it's correct. This is the right way to put it. Yes. And as well as the total screens a... Up like a three, right? What's that? It brings the total screens up to three now. Yeah, because they do have a back box. A it's deal. a, what, a 23-inch... Um, HD screen, screen, HD screen, yeah. and then a 32 inch 4K screen for the playfield. That's right. Yeah. Um, beyond that, the cabinet looks pretty much the same. Um, yeah, it does. Although it looks um, a little uh, deeper. I mean, like like the um, um, the height from screen to bottom of the cabinet does look mm. a little bit deeper, which was one of our complaints about the the first one. It looked thin. It didn't look like an actual cabinet. That's right. I'm looking at it. I've got you up here and the, oh, okay. the fact sheet down there. So I'm, I'm not ignoring you. I'm actually yes. looking at the thing right now <laughs> off screen. But uh, yeah, um, it does seem a little bit more hefty. I, I still think being 32 inch um, 4K, that was the same size as the at games, not at games, the um, uh, okay, one up cabinets, wasn't it? Uh, did arcade one did not have a 32 inch screen. It was small. It was like 25, 26 or something. Uh, I think it was a 24 inch. Mm. And it was running. It's been, it's... it's been a while, obviously. Yeah. Well, and you was... should know because you actually just literally saw one right then, didn't you, at Costco? <laughs> so, no sooner am I going, hmm, thinking about all of this, when for the first time since release, I actually saw. A arcade one-up Star Wars machine at my Costco, and I was like, "You actually put hands on it." What are the odds? I finally put hands on one, played yeah. it, felt the haptics, saw the graphics, heard the sound. I was just like, "Oh my gosh, what are the it's odds?" It's only taken four years, <laughs> and they still hey, wanted six hundred ninety-nine dollars for it. I got to see it before you did. Right I'm down here in Australia land, right? Which is like crazy. It's um, crazy. 
which uh, I'm really glad that I actually got to finally put hands on this. Um, it actually plays well into this show, I think. Because... Yeah, because some of the thing, uh, as much as I love the look of the cabinet, I was actually kind of surprised at how small it was. I d- it's I'm very like, small? I-, I didn't. It took me aback. I legitimately uh, just went like, wait, what? That's what is so this, much a pinball smaller. for ants? <laughs> <laughs> Once I stood in front of it and was playing it, the size didn't really factor. That is true. It doesn't... Like once you're sort of there and you've got the dimensions in front of you, the size, it sort of feels okay. Yeah. Um, but when you just look at it from afar, you go, "Wow, that's tiny." Yeah. Yeah. You know? Um, the haptics weren't that strong. The mm. graphics were very aliased. Um, oh, they yes, very they really aliased. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they're but really the sound was rough. good, and the flipper lag was non-existent as far as I could tell. No, there was. No, I was really impressed when I played it as well. I was going, that would be the biggest detractor for me well, if it had flipper lag. And it's actually, it didn't, it was quite responsive. Yeah. So they but obviously got the in-out bus. I can certainly well. see why people were modding the hell out of it. <laughs> well, once you've done your, whatever it is, 12 tables in the um, the standard, you know, Star Wars range, yeah. there's not much else to do on it really. Yeah. Um, um, and it's not networked, so you can't, do anything online no. with it. It really no. is a standalone piece of furniture, isn't yes. it? Yes. Um, mm. And there was a lot of people walking by and going, oh, cool, oh, check that out. And um, as soon it's as I walked away... It's definitely a crowd so, puller. Yeah, as soon as I walked away, somebody else hopped on it. So, um, I mean, it was great, but I, I messaged Jared and... <laughs> what did you what did you type in, Jared? That it was... Uh... I'll find out because I've got the, okay. the little messagey <laughs> yes. thing here. I don't have my information. Uh, uh, it's a blah. I said, <laughs> abandon wear. Abandon wear. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. It's, it's, but the thing is, basically, arcade I don't know. Oh, crap. Let's dump these fast. <laughs> uh, yep. Pretty much, I think. Uh, it's, yeah. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how this product can coexist with the At Games one, isn't it? Because I don't think it's going to coexist. I think once they've got rid of. The, the ones they've got in the warehouse, that'll be the end of this product line. I yeah, think. so going back to uh, what is being said, th- those are the major mm. improvements that are on uh, the AK 4K. At K 4K? At Games 4K. We should, um, what we just say, let's actually go through the like the the key features. We've been through some of them. Let's just flatten it out and okay. just do... Flatten it out. What, what's on it? What, what do you get? What do you go get? Go for it. Spit it out, Jerry. Thing? All right, so... Um, you're going to get, uh, it's a fair bit of stuff on here and it does build upon what was originally in the, um, the a game pinball, yep. um, first up. So from purely a hardware specification perspective, actually we'll do hardware. Um, yeah, I'll do software. Next. You do hardware. Yeah. Right, you, well, uh, off you go. You do, I'll, I'll do hardware now. So in hardware, you're getting, so as Chris mentioned, it's 32 inch 4K resolution play field. You get a 23.8 inch HD back glass display and an 8 inch HD DMD. Um, the DMD is where you expect it to be, which is good. The back glass is also in a reasonable position. It's still got Legends Plus all over it, which I don't think is necessary, but anyhow. Actually, it's not um, as bad as it was because it only says 4K Legends pinball across the top, but yeah, it's like it doesn't have Legends on the, on the apron. It doesn't have legends true. on the front of the machine. Because it, it was only, really everywhere on the old one. Yeah, it and then on the back on the side, it says Zen. <laughs> That's that is true. So, so there's really only one branding on the top. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess that's alright, isn't it? So this one does actually have built-in solenoids and speakers um, for haptics. So you've got the exciters and some solenoids flapping around in there. I'd say Sounds like the exciters are still going to be in that top panel right near your hands, which seems to be where they like to put the exciters. Um, it's got 3.5 inch audio speakers, quote unquote large. Um, <laughs> 3.5 inch large, I don't know. Um, all new user interface. Uh, so that's that's good. And then you get popular digital pinball uh, game packs available for purchase. And all built-in tables are in 4K and support surround sound feedback, which is an optional accessory. Um, yeah, which they have not. So um, I went to their website to see how much that's going to be, the uh, 
mm. surround sound feedback kit. Uh, they don't yep. have it listed uh, yet because it hasn't been announced. Um, yep. I did find uh, somebody else that had a video of uh, a, 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 a base and full haptics add-on uh, that mm. can be done to their regular Legends pinball, and that thing was going for 170 um, okay. from a third party. So I, I would hope that At Games keeps it under 200 um, yep. You know, but because otherwise uh, um, this other thing looks like it would integrate really well because they'd figured out all the things. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. had all the connectors and everything like that. So yeah. pretty much it's a drop in replacement for it. Yeah. Well, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be a battle of which is cheapest, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, um, or which is not so much cheapest, but which is better for the price you've got to pay for it, right? Yeah. Um, so there's optional accessories. Like you say, there's that integrated uh sort of uh, surround thing there's your arcade control panel which we've seen before in iteration one of the cabinet um which everybody kind of says is a must because well yeah because if the, you're gonna play anything the else single d-pad for navigation everybody says is really crappy <laughs> yeah right like it's a sticky button not good experience not good experience mm -hmm. yeah i'm not surprised um and yeah, so it's basically that and the surround sound feedback kit are the optional accessories that you can get for it. Yeah. And I left the potentially the the most intriguing hardware spec to last, which is the fact that they're using the Rock Chip thirty five eighty eight um, system on a chip. Okay, I have no this. idea what that is. Okay, so Rock Chips are like the the chips that you will normally find in things like uh, low end. Um, tech okay. so things like uh, set top boxes and um, kiosks and things like that okay um, so this I believe rock chip was the the system on a chip or what they call SOC that they were using in the legends the first legends uh, with the dedicated board that um, was in the game now Obviously, it was rock chip something. I don't think it would have been 3588. It would have been a previous iteration of it with yeah. lesser specs. So I actually went and had a look at the data sheet for this thing. And I won't go into too much detail about it. But yes, it does have an output that will do 4K at 60 frames a second. Um, it has um, outputs for two other screens. So yes, it will do that. But I'm I'm not at all sure how they're going to manage to get adam's family on uh the current platform working on this level of chip like it's i i just don't understand i was i think i was having a look at the spec sheet i was chatting with my tech mates about it yeah going what would they how would they do this and he he goes well they might use the rock chip 3588 package as like the orchestrator so the thing that controls everything and then throw off all the other sort of heavier load stuff to other daughter boards, a bit like Spike 2 mm. on um, Stern Pinball. So mm -hmm. they have like a main board in the back box that's the orchestrator, and then they offload all the work to all these sort of satellite boards. So maybe that's how they're getting around the problem of a rock chip um, system on a chip. But if it's just one chip powering the entire solution, I would think that there would have to be switch like nintendo switch level sacrifices on graphics for yeah. them to be able to do that like because there is no gpu mentioned here it's just no. the onboard adreno uh cpu that's uh, a gpu that's in the rock chip package so yeah that's like that is the biggest concern for me as far as the hardware goes there's the also no mention um currently the uh legends pinball owners they had to buy the uh, vibs board uh, to be able yeah. to hook up their PC to this. No vibs in this, apparently. Um, it's all part of the solution now. So, so it's all, okay, so it's already integrated in. That's right. So vibs okay. is now just part of it. And uh, according to one um, good folk that I was talking to on the Discord, um, the Pinball FX Discord, the, at least the HDMI connections are on the back of the back box now. Oh. So, so they've <laughs> sorted that out. But okay. in all of the pictures that I've seen online, I still see that stupid control panel thing at the very top of the of the the so, screen. Like it's yeah, 
I, I, I saw that too, which me and Jared were adamantly against. Um, <laughs> it is the most stupid place to put it. It now, must be the, the most cost effective. Here's the other but... thing. There's been a survey up on Twitter. I think it was Twitter. Right. Um, of two different models of the cabinet. Um, mm. of the 4K cabinet. One that was a shorter back box that eliminated the Legend Spinball 4K banner, and then the other one mm. with. Um, and it was asking, which do you prefer? So I'm not 100% sure that this is final design. I Maybe think this not. is... I think we might still be in placeholder mode. So this is content and images of a reference only and subject to change, yeah. is what the, the, tra the uh, disclaimer yeah. is at the bottom. So I'm hoping that's, oh, I really hope that's the case. Like the panel, if you're using interconnects, they should just spend an extra three bucks on a bit more wire yeah. into the bill of materials and just put the thing down the front or put the connectors to the um, the HDMI stuff at the back so you can neatly plug it into your PC and yeah. then put things like USB and switches and stuff like that down the front so you can access them. Yeah. Um, so that that will be good. And I'm, I really do hope that what we're seeing here is not final. Yeah. Um, now, another positive, the artwork. <laughs> so they wrapped this thing in Adam's Family artwork. I wish that it was the solid black artwork that was on the actual Cabinet cab. artwork. This instead has mm. kind of a green tinge background. Yeah. Um, but at least it's not that god-awful mess of godly no. mishmash. Copy pasta yeah. stuff. Um, that was horrible. That was horrible. So, uh, I think I think we're good there. Um, pricing, it's steep. Yeah. It's <laughs> not cheap, hey. Eh? Do the pricing. Let, what what are we going to do here for this thing? So, okay. Full MSRP. After, uh, if you like, wait a while and buy it, is going to be fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Um. However. If you do pre-order, and the pre-order is uh, September 22nd through 25th. Fifth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually pick it up for 1100 Or as they say, yeah. 1099 dollars 99 1100 Which is $1,100. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, can, you can pick it up for 1100 So for those four days or three days, you can do your pre-order. Um, and then after that, the pre-order goes up by 200 bucks, but then you've got like a month to actually do the pre-order. And then the yeah. final pre-order is the full price. Welcome to the extra money. Um, yeah. Deal. Now... One 400. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's where it gets a little... Before I get into the software, it gets a little confusing. Mm. So it says that the Adams Family is the standard edition, which means they're not limiting the number of these. It'll still come with, you can still get it with a little placard on the front of it that says what number it is, mm. but it doesn't seem like it's limited. Because instead what's happening, Zen plans to release 15 other collector's editions. So yeah, 15 other branded versions of the cabinet. Yes. They're all going to be limited to 5,000 units each. Now, I'm just, you know, quick math here, but... 5,000 times 15 equals 75,000 units they're yeah. hoping to move. Well, 75,000 limited edition units. Yeah. So that's... <laughs> if you think about it, a LE from um, Stern is 500 is the mm -hmm. LE amount mm -hmm. for these. So it's, it's interesting they're calling these... LEs. I think they're just. Well, they're not calling it LE. Backwards. They're calling it CE, Collector's Edition. Well, that's the same as. Um, I know. <laughs> thing, uh, it's like, so, okay, sure. Five 5,000 Collector's Editions yeah. of these uh, per SKU. So. And this will come with a uh, with a topper. Which... Uh, a custom topper for each one. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's, there's a custom topper for the Adams family. Yeah. I don't know what that custom topper is made out of, but. It uh, looks like plywood. <laughs> it's going to be a sticker, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be a plywood with sticker on it. Absolutely. Rather than yeah. a piece of Lexan with a sticker on it. Yeah, that's right. Well, <laughs> it looks it look 
I don't know if it was just a mock up, but yeah. the side view of the cabinet has the wood stays behind it. <laughs> so, so <laughs> images are not final. <laughs> images are not final. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> but what I do find interesting, though, is that uh, uh, these other collector's editions are going to be released between 2023 and 2025. So. Mm. Zen looks like they have a long-term plan. Um, which they've already said they do. Which they right do. Um, yeah. These are only going to be released in the United States currently. Um, yep. I know that Zen was hoping for a USA manufacturing partner, so maybe that's what exactly this is. I don't know. Um, at least Man, for I the wood source. Cool. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Because um, I'm sure the, the I'm sure the boards are coming from overseas. Oh, it's Shenzhen, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> That's where they're getting done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if you didn't want an Adams Family cabinet, it's wait and hope that one of your other favorites is coming down the pike. And um, I really hope that if you wait for the other ones, they also have the tiered purchasing options. Right? So if you want to get a pre-order. Like if you want to pre-order one, you still get a discount on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Um, also, at the moment, uh, not going to be sold in stores. It's going to be only online purchases. Um, that's, again, subject to change. But frequently asked questions, people were asking if it was going to be a Sam's Club again. They were like, no retail partners have been announced yet. Hmm. Um, now, on to the actual games. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is where which, it gets interesting. This this does get a little bit interesting. Um, do I actually have... Yeah, there we go. Um, mm. So, it's Adam's Family and 14 other titles. Yes. Of which, most of them are Zacharia Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So, and your, your Zacharia tables it. are Battle Deluxe, Sinistar Deluxe. I'm not going to say Deluxe for all these. They're Deluxe, all of them. Uh, Farfalla, yeah. House of Diamonds, Pool Champions, Robot, uh, Red Show, Spooky, Strike, and Universe. And then I have no idea what Natural History Pinball is. I don't know whose the studio is behind it. Uh, they're all they're all Magic Pixel. Is these are Magic the ones Pixel that also? Magic. Yeah, Magic Pixel did all of these up. Okay. Um, for them. So any so, any bespoke table that were done up for at games, it was all Magic Pixel okay. doing the work. So then they have yeah. Amazonia, uh, Dinosaur Dynasty, Exoplanets, and Last Ice Age. Um, yeah, all natural history type tables, right. basically. Right. Yeah. Um. So then you might be asking, well, what about the other tables? <laughs> Um, mm. If you are an At Games Legends pinball owner currently, and let's say you've bought all those tables, guess what, folks? They don't transfer. Oh, really? Nope. Only 4K Legends pinball tables will be wow. coming over <laughs> to oh. this. So, mm. for all of you that <laughs> scream bloody murder... At Zen, and how dare they be so greedy, and whatever. And for all of you that have actually paid the prices that were being asked by at games for... Which they weren't cheap. They weren't either. cheap. Guess what? You get to buy them all again. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I, I know recently that. they just announced uh, all the Gottlieb tables in 4K. So oh, I'm okay. very curious to know... What? <laughs> I know. I was really surprised to see that. Um, no, I couldn't find out any information with if Farsight was behind this. Um, I'm dying uh, to know. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I don't even... Yeah, I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, so, yeah, that's, um, that's a thing. <laughs> uh, no mention... Uh, it, it basically, what it says is... Where did I see it? Uh, I didn't see it. Um, let's see if I can find this other frequently asked questions sheet. This is what happens when you don't have... We're phoning it in, folks. 
Yeah. We, we, um, we're doing it live. Okay, all, sort of. so uh, will all current Legends HE tables be ported to Legends 4K platform devices and play at the spec of 4K play fields at 60 frames per second, HD back glass, and HD and DMD? And the answer is yes, the Legends 4K format version pinballs for Taito, Natural History, Dr. Seuss, Gottlieb, and Zachariah will be available for purchase on the Legends 4K machine as well as on the Ad Games eStore. Um, they're mm. saying 160 tables so far. What isn't mentioned? Any of Zen's. <laughs> yeah. Well. So, I gotta it believe it might be it might be cabinet exclusive. So, if you want no good gophers, you have to buy the no good gophers. I cabinet. don't think Zen will do that. I hope not. No, I don't think that. But what I do think, this is going to be up to the various IP holders whether or not they want to jump on this or not. And be mm. in cabinet form. Yeah. So, um, at least if you want to buy it through this this uh, store, um, the yeah, game store. Um, obviously, if you're able to hook up your PC, then you can hook up your PC and go for that that way and and deal with everything that way. Um, yeah, and this is the thing that I'm interested in, right? The whole hooking up your PC thing. Um, we covered what we would expect minimum functionality to be yeah. Um, in this. And they have ticked one of those things off the list, which is uh, individual connections to each of the screens. Yeah. So that's that's great. But when I was having a chat to people like in Discord about this, it's like, yeah, well, okay, but how are you going to do a individual HDMI cable for each video feed? Because there's, I mean... Even some of the latest RTX cards only have one video out on them. So how how is that going to work as far as getting the feed into the cabinet? Hmm. And then I think it was Robo who was saying, uh, Robo Loco was saying, um, well, you know, you can do like, there is a way of doing display port uh, chaining. So they may have actually done it with the, the system on a chip package they've got. It might have the ability to take like somehow one input mm -hmm. and then spread that over the three screens. But I don't know exactly how that would work in practice. Yeah. I think the spec sheet says that that rock chip is capable of doing that. Okay. But it's going to be interesting to see how they handle that. But really for me, if it's connecting to the PC, like it's got to be what they didn't do in iteration. One of this is have haptics. So if you connected your PC up to it, you got no haptics at all. So this next iteration would be give give us haptics through USB. So connect your a USB cable from your PC to the cabinet. That gives you control interface surfaces, like you know, your buttons and plungers and stuff. Um and you've got to have yeah, the haptic feedback um passing through from the PC to the cabinet so you can feel everything as well. Otherwise are like you for me, you're not sure if that's uh, going to be a thing on this or not? Oh uh, yeah, I'm not sure. There's very little information about it. Yeah. So this is like this is what they need to do. I really hope they address at least some of those things because uh, otherwise it's a one and a half thousand dollars worth of not much. Because really, again, I do eyes. know that that uh, video that I watched of that third party um, haptic system. Yeah. It has a hot switch that allows you when you're playing. Uh, the built-in tables, you can let the haptics work for that. And then if you switch to mm. your PC, you push the button, and then haptics work for PC. Ah, oh, that's potentially good news then. Yeah. So if they basically gone looked at all, because uh, that was the thing with uh, Legends Pinball, they were saying we we want the thing to be modded. We are open to modding. We want to see what the community comes up with, so we could basically steer their ideas yeah, well, and roll yeah. them into the product. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be serious. Well, you know, with the proper with the proper money changing hands, right. obviously, but. Um, yeah, so let's hope that that solution that they've worked at, that someone in the community has worked out, yeah. comes into the core part of the product. Because yeah. that's on obviously, like, I, if I was to pay one and a half grand US for this thing at top dollar, um, the first thing I'd be doing is not booting the thing up and playing any of the included games on it, let me tell you. Like, I'd be connecting my computer to it and using it as a, a cabinet. And oh, the other thing, and it better do this, is one-click cabinet mode in Zen Pinball um, FX. Like, 
as long as you've connected the cables up correctly according to the instruction manual you should be able to go into zen uh, pinball effects and go cabinet mode or like legends cabinet mode and it should literally pass through everything it needs to pass through correctly well hopefully since <clears> zen <throat> is partnering directly with them and zen is actively looking at cabinet mode um i'm hoping these two things should be reasonable things to assume i would think yeah i would i would hope so um i would zen really is hope building so. into yeah. their software uh the ability to interface with this um uh -huh. Yeah, I would hope that it would work. So that's one of those questions that um, obviously we're going to have to be uh, asking our contacts at Zen about and seeing if we can get an answer for. I've already emailed Mel <laughs> 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 to try and get some information about this. Well, wait, you emailed but... Mel? Yeah, directly. I don't think Mel's going to have that information. Oh, he probably have some information. He'll have some information. Well, at least he'll be... we need we need to talk to some of the more uh, the nitty gritty guys. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, we'll see how we go. I'll just right. reach out to Bell first. Um, yeah. Well. So, what do y'all think? Um, mm. I'm, I'm going to tell you this much right now. I do believe I'm going to be getting this one. You reckon you're going to buy it? I reckon I'm going to be getting this one. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have okay. to buy it, unfortunately. Um, right. Um, Are you going to get in uh, early? You gonna go early pre-order? I I mean I don't want to spend extra money. Yeah, so I would have well, to do yeah. early pre-order. Um, and especially knowing that a I'm gonna to have to buy that arcade stick at some point. It's two hundred bucks. I know that sometimes they discount it down to a hundred. Um, yeah, there's like the you know during their founder or whatever yeah. it is yearly sale thing. You yeah. Know? Um, like I said, that one seems like a no-brainer. Everybody says mm. you pretty much got to do it. Um, mm. and then uh, a haptic. The, you know whether it's the one that they're coming out with or the third party one everybody says also you need the haptics to really boost get the most out of it yeah especially with the with the basically the rumble subwoofer because um, mm -hmm. there's plenty of games that uh, you know have that good rumble going for them um, mm -hmm. whether or oh I should announce also that uh, by doing this I think they give you two months of yeah of their i don't even know what the terminology is it's legends 4k pinball net there you go access to the 106 of those 160 games you'd be able to access them play them uh and then watch it go away so it's basically zen's pinball pass basically yeah um, except it's 15 bucks a month yeah i us 15 dollars a month not <laughs> be surprised if Zen's pinball pass comes to this, more um, I don't think it will. You don't because think it will? no, because it, this is a Legends ecosystem. It's like basically Nintendo or Sony or Xbox. Mm -hmm. So they've got their own storefront. They've got their own thing. I don't think pinball pass is going to cross over to this. Okay, it's it's a Legends thing. That's my prediction. So you won't no, nah, that won't be doing it. All right, nah. Uh, and one thing that for sure is not going to be coming over. Uh, tournaments that are within Zen Pinball Effects are not going to be there. They're going to be custom no. tournaments through at games, how they do it. Uh, yeah, through Pinball Net, basically. Pinball Net. Yeah. Uh, with yeah. its own 4K leaderboard. So that's going yeah. to be there. Um, and you purchase, you purchase everything through the apps, App Store X platform. Yeah. Um, so you can purchase the packs outright by the things if you want. Um, so you don't have to actually subscribe, but I think to get access to tournaments and stuff, you have to pay your 15 bucks a month, which just, it just leaves a sour taste in my mouth. That does. Um, it's one of those things I still don't like. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I really don't like it at all. I also, if I get this thing, seriously doubt that I'll be buying any of the Zacharia stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> at least, at least you will be able to confirm how good the interconnect is, um, with the cabinet and a pc yeah so i've got that... a pc standing by it's what i was using for vr um yeah so i've got i've got the pc standing by i might have to upgrade the video card but um yeah you will, I will <laughs> if you're gonna be I've, playing if you want to play in 4k <laughs> uh yeah if you want to play well yes there's 
I I actually play not in 4K, but I play in like what they call it 2K. Okay. Um, so it's like 2560 by 1440 or whatever the resolution. That's what I is. currently play in. And that's that's fine, honestly. Yeah. I I don't really think 4K with a lot. There's a yeah, you can get into a whole debate with people on the internet about whether you actually need 4K games or not. I was say, at the and, very least, I need a card with ray tracing. Yes, you yes. really do need that. So, yeah. That's at the very least. Um, yeah. Have you noticed that the screenshots that they have for the table, um, they, like the 4K gaming screenshots they've got on the, like page three of the flyer where it says, let's play, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking at them going, what what's going on there? Like I can see that there's the the thing golf club, and I c- I can see that there's the candles everywhere and stuff like that, but everything looks muddy. Like the all the inserts and stuff are like really muddy, and the slingshot plastics are like really low res. Uh, so I just threw it up here. Yeah, I don't know. That's hard. I see what you mean. The it's yeah. almost like they put a fisheye lens, and some of it went blurry. Well, they well, yeah. oh, I know what they did. Look, they blurred out Morticia and Gomez. I think they're blurring out licensing. You reckon? Yes. For no. this ad. You reckon? Although elsewhere in the ad, it actually states. Um, that I think down at the bottom of the screen here, I saw. Something. Well, why would they do that? Because there's uh, Adams Family's trademark of T and Charles Adams Foundation, so they can advertise Adams Family, but they don't want to have to pay uh, Angelica Houston and the estate of Raul Julia just for this ad. You reckon that's why they've done it? Yeah, I do. I really literally do. But then you have a look at the uh, return lanes and they're also fuzzy as well and there's no licensing on them. Well, and then actually now I'm looking at the side cabinet art, which is... <laughs> clearly, it's literally them. It's literally them. So, okay, I'm full of it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at going, what's going on there? I'm, I'm wondering, I'm thinking to myself, have they got like some sort of depth of field thing implemented here? Yeah, probably. For, cap- for cabinet mode. And that's what we're looking at. I don't know. I don't either. But it looks, I mean, that if that's a screenshot from the game in cabinet mode looking down, and maybe folks who actually have cabinet mode can confirm, like, is that how it looks when you're playing cabinet mode? Is there, have they got like some sort of layers of depth in there or something like that? Is that just yeah. normal? Uh, but it looks weird. Anyhow, that's Anyhow. Just what I saw. Um, so, yeah, there it is, folks. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for Zen to be able to move forward. Uh, and get what they want, which is having online connectivity, uh, being able to put these tables out into people's hands without people having mm. to build their own cabinet. Um, I think the full retail price of 1500 is steep. Uh, for what you get, for yeah. what you get. But I think at that 1100 mark, it's not out of the realm of... I think that was... Me and you even predicted it would be somewhere in that neighborhood. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, at, at some point in the distant past. <laughs> yeah. Now the question yeah. is, do you feel like waiting for it to go to retail at a Sam's Club and then all of a sudden get a steep discount? That's a gamble. Um, it won't go to Sam's Club, I don't think. I think they're done with those partnerships altogether. I think they're just selling direct now. Yeah. Well, the only problem with that, you got to pay shipping. <laughs> Yeah, which sucks. That's right. Um, but at it games really does. does have a store on Amazon. Oh, do they? Yep. So if you got Amazon Prime, possibly then I I'll, I'll you might look be able it to get up and see. Uh, hold on, let me let me take a quick look and see if their products actually pop up as free shipping um, for what they're currently selling. Uh, let's see. I bet they won't because <laughs> they're really expensive as heck to ship. Like, really expensive. Um, what, da, 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 da. Here, I'm just going to go with the uh, control stick. And... Uh, da, 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 da. No, I'm not seeing free shipping. I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, let's 
see if we so can... uh, look, on, i'm gonna visit the actual at game store and see what it pops up i'm on the there. at game store now no uh, i mean the at game store of oh uh, the amazon of amazon yeah yeah and see what comes up why is nothing coming up i hate it when my amazon does that sometimes you click on something and then it just gives you a blank page <laughs> yep um Oh wow! I'm I'm having a look at Legends uh, Pinball HD. No, I'm seeing free delivery. Oh really? Okay. Free delivery is available. Wow! I'm I'm now having a look at just for con comparison and contrast. I'm looking at the Legends HD compared to Legends 4K. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> it's uh, it's a lot different. The cabinet. Oh, geez, it's like yeah, it's so much different. Uh, In a good way. Yeah. yeah, and definitely in a good way. <laughs> okay. Wow! It's a clown vomit stuff going on with that legends <laughs> hd uh, unbelievable um uh, all so right. interesting though 32 inch hd lcd playfield so the playfield size is the same yes um but it's been upscaled to 4k yeah so yeah yeah uh let me have a look at the anyhow yeah i just thought that was interesting to see um what a huge difference it is it's definitely th like thicker like a higher cabinet and okay. um it looks yeah definitely higher it looks much more like a pinball machine now good um so anyway that was our our like i said we weren't going to do a, an episode and then it was like me and jerks were texting and i was like you know what we just got thrown together <laughs> we should we should get get ahead of this news we really yeah. gotta get out well, there um with complete lack of true information there's so much more information that we want to have. I know my number one question is how frequently are Zen tables going to be coming to this? Are they going to be coming mm. in packs? Are they going to be priced like they are on Steam? Um, I want to know those things. And then I want to know secondary, how easy is it going to be to connect your PC to this? And be able to play all your Zen tables that way instead. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, obviously, I don't want to rebuy all the Zen tables. I've got them all right now. <laughs> so I will be plugging in the PC, no doubt. Um, yeah, absolutely. And honestly, you'll have a better, a much better experience if you're plugging your PC, providing that they get the interface correct. Because yeah. that rock chip chip is I yeah I, I'm trying to be polite about it, but I, I'm not very impressed with it as a yeah. spec. I'm also so, though not somebody that wants to jump through a whole series of hoops uh, with different pinball loaders and installs and how to get it integrated and and all that. I just want it to be easy. So yeah, you want to plug in your PC, start up pinball effects, flick a switch, and everything disappears on the yeah. displays where they're supposed to appear. Yep, that's. That would be my expectation. If Zen are running this as a, a integrated product, that's what they will need to be doing. And I think potentially, if you, if you, with hindsight, if you look at what they haven't done with cabinet mode recently, that's the reason why. Yeah. Because they've been doing all of this, trying to get the retail version set up, yep. um, and probably thinking about all these things that. Uh, we're saying right now about integrating their core product into this cabinet because they'd be mad not to let's yeah. be serious like it, they'd be mad not to all right so there it is our short episode is still long as usual um mm -hmm. i predicted it <laughs> <laughs> we could have reined it in jared we really could have but then we can't shut our mouths um no nah. We're, we're, we're impossible. We, we are desperately going to try and uh, seek out these answers. Like Jared said, he already has fired off emails. Um, so uh, we'll see what uh, info we can grab and uh, talk about this more as we learn more information. Um, mm. And then, like I said, hopefully I'll actually get one of these uh, so that we for once can talk truly about what these experiences are like. Um, but I do yeah. find it comical that literally as the day I'm thinking about this, I find the arcade one up machine in Costco. <laughs> yep. I think that's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's, so, it's the universe speaking. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. So, it's, it's, all right. It's very funny. Well, <laughs> what do you all think? Uh, what's the, uh, 
what's the proper course of action to do here? Should you uh, jump right in and go with an Adams Family cab? Do you think you're going to wait around for one of the other cabs? Like, would you rather have an Indiana Jones themed cab or maybe a Medieval Madness or, you know, a creature, something of that nature? You know it's going to be a Williams um, mm. style cab. That's what's going to be selling these. Uh, a Zen original is not going to sell. <laughs> no. for a collector's edition it just isn't nope um and then what mods if you get this are you going to be jumping on right off the bat um, yeah what's what are you going to be adding to your order basically yeah uh when you're going to check this thing out because you may as well add it up front let's be serious yeah um so yeah what is it going to be what you're going to get um or even more importantly are you like you know what if i'm going to spend that much money I'm just going to spend more money and get a true, true cabinet. Um, we hear rumors mm. that Zen might be thinking of a high-end cabinet also. Um, well, I mean, yeah, they already have right one, one with uh, Skillshot. They've got that really funky-looking one that's like $10,000. Um, yep. But I'm assuming that there might be a different iteration coming. I don't know, because that one's been around. I think so. Yeah, that's right. I... I think this this one definitely is fitting that, you know, mum and dad retail yeah. spot. Yeah. This one. I don't think it's the last cabinet we're going to see, though. No. I, I, I don't. I think there's going to be other ones out there for all price tiers mm -hmm. with, yeah, I mean, but I mean, it goes to show that if we're already going, oh, geez, one and a half grand or, you know, then, well, <laughs> perhaps, you know, the uh any money above that would have to be like okay what is this cabin what are we getting in it like mm -hmm. you know it'd have to be a pretty good value proposition to buy it if we're humming and hiring about one and a half grand us yeah. so i don't know we'll see time will tell but this time is available this is announced this is available if you if you like it go buy it <laughs> I say, if you want it cheapest price is coming up in uh you know by the time just a couple of this, days a couple of days um mm -hmm. So Friday the 22nd, that's the uh, first day of being able to do it. So Yep. All righty. Well, that's all we have for you. We're not going to uh, waste time with anything else because we didn't have anything else planned. <laughs> nope. Um, we'll happily be popping on in uh, two more weeks and uh, see what other information we might have or what other topic we want to discuss. Uh, if there's anything that you want us to focus on, especially if it's regarding this, please hop on the old Discord channel uh, for Blockade and uh, let Jared know. Um, he'll pass mm. it along to me, obviously. Um, share your comments on Twitter with us, too. Those are the ones that I read. And, yep. uh, yeah. Next time, as per usual, Jared, what is it going to be? Stuff and things. Sounds good to me. All right, until then, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya.